Hello, buddies. Guess who's back? Your favorite friend. Ta-da! Are you blown away by the fact that Red Dead Redemption is continuing even after Dutch is dead? I thought Dutch was the important guy. What is going on now? I really want to see this. Okay, what is gonna John, happen? We got a telegram from some lady friend of yours, a Bonnie something or other. <laughs> is she jealous? <laughs> She's a friend. Mm. Saved my life when I went after Bill and nearly got myself killed again. Oh, now you two's in the habit of sending each other letters. How very nice. It weren't nothing like that. What's it <laughs> She's say? jealous. No. I can't. Well, you know I can't read. Give it here. <laughs> you read that thing out loud. I ain't hiding nothing. <gasps> Come on, read it. Dear Mr. Marston, stop. What? Need corn sacks. Stop. What? Emergency. Stop. Weevils and moths ate entire county supply. Stop. What? Can you help? Not exactly the most romantic request now, is it? <laughs> I guess not. And she saved your life, you say? Yes, yeah. ma'am. Well, then you're gonna have to help her and her family out. We've got a plentiful supply of corn sacks over near the silo. Oh, about the one thing Uncle didn't manage to have stolen while we was gone. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hurry back, John. And John, what's she like? <laughs> oh, you know, Blonde hair. A little bit like you, I guess. Oh, no, that's the She's wrongest the question. <laughs> oh, <is that laughs> okay, get in the wagon and send them there to Bonnie. Bonnie! So, Wait. what? Oh, she's gonna go with him Maybe and I what? Meet this McFarlane woman. Ah! What are you waiting for? You oh, hurry. nice! Ooh. Before time runs out, okay. I don't think I can let you go off again without me. Fair enough. Uh -huh. I'm out of the company. You only had to ask. Ask? I was waiting for you to ask me. I thought yeah. you wanted to keep an eye on the boy. Oh, while you were off cavorting with cowgirls in the next county? <laughs> I don't think so, John Marston. I only just got home. That Jack has seen enough of me for a lifetime. <laughs> yeah. So, he can see with Uncle. Married? No. Bonnie McFarland. No. What does she look like? I don't oh. Know. Pretty normal, I suppose. Normal? What? Normal like me? No. Normal as in two eyes, mouth, nose, <laughs> that kind of normal. Ah. No woman fine as you. A little flattery. <laughs> Somewhere. Yeah. Yourself in a hole. The first thing to do is stop digging. Another <laughs> pearl of wisdom from John Martin. Yeah. I sure do miss those. I never took you for the jealous type, Abigail. Ha. I'm jealous so much as curious. You are you jealous. It's just some corn. She saved my life and she was decent enough to me, so I owe her this much at least. Uh huh. Uh huh. We will see that, John. She flirted with How you sometimes. How did she anyway? She found me half dead on the side of the road and took me to the doctor. Most folks would have left me there. Half dead from what? Bill didn't take so kindly to me visiting unannounced. Bill never did like yeah. surprises. How was he? Same as he was when we left. Angry, Dummy. Dumb. Yeah. Taking his revenge out on the world. People down there was really scared of him. Of uh, Bill? You gotta be kidding me. He was yeah. Standing if you was afraid of dumb fools. Yeah. <laughs> so bad, but when went crazy, Bill took it hard. For a while, we all thought we'd found something right. Better way to live, but it was just a lie. So you saw before they did. Maybe, but they was still kind of a family. A family that left you for dead. You knew the yeah. truth, John. And they hated But they still were some kind of family, Abigail. Come on. Those government bastards. Where did they hold you and Jack? I ain't sure. They kept their eyes covered there and back. Can't have been too far from here, uh -huh. though. They treat you right? It ain't the first time I've had a gun to my head, John. You're forgetting your marriage proposal. Very <laughs> fun. So, they learned pretty quick what would happen if they laid a finger on me. Sons of bitches. It wasn't them or being there. I didn't care about that. I've been in far worse situations. It Come on. I didn't know if you was coming back. Of course I was coming back. You were yeah. supposed to be gone for a couple of days. 
It took longer than I thought. The only thing Phil and Dutch was ever any good at was not getting caught. I'm sorry, yeah. You can you tell him back to them? Get those horses moving. He is. Over. Okay, here back. we are. Phil, Javier, Dutch, they're all dead. It don't get more over than that. Yeah. Oh, okay. They're all dead, but what are we gonna do now? That's my hey, everyday question. Thank you so much. We lost the entire harvest. Miss McFarland, I'd like you to meet my wife, Abigail. Oh, ain't you quite the gentleman all of a sudden? Yeah. It's a pleasure to meet you, Mrs. Marston. Likewise, thank you for saving my husband's life and for teaching the miserable goat some manners <laughs> and other things. I didn't teach him anything. I know better than to try to change a man. You should meet my father. <laughs> you can change, Miss McFarlane. John and I have to believe that more than anybody. This is a yeah. first harvest for you, John. You should be proud. That's good land you got there. How are oh. you feeling, Mrs. Marston? From what your husband told me, it must have been awful for you. I've been through worse. And yeah. I knew he'd be back before too long. He can't cook a meal to save his life. Abigail? In my darkest hours, when I was most homesick, just the thought of one of your rat meat stews kept me pushing forward. <laughs> as amusing as a weak saddle sore, ain't he, Mr. Farland? If you're gonna start yammering about women's work, John, I'd say you might be in the wrong company. I'd say <laughs> so, too. I never felt so outnumbered. Weird. Are they gonna become friends now? Just don't, please. <laughs> That's annoying. You don't need to. Bye, Bonnie. Let's see what is she gonna say now. What, Bonnie? You like John, right? And you're sad now. Because you saw his wifey. I yeah. know, I know. <laughs> She's sad. Bye, Bonnie. Don't watch them anymore. Get inside. I know. I knew it. She flirted with him. She tried. But he... Too serious. Too in love with Abigail. Good job, John. Drive Abigail home. Yes, Abigail. Open your well, mouth now. Famous Bonnie. That yeah. Her, all right. She's pretty. She's yeah. normal. Like I said. Pretty. I've always wanted to be a rancher. I'd have thought she'd be just your thing. The perfect <gasps> rancher's wife, if I ever saw one. I already got a rancher's wife. I'm only teasing. I like her. And I'm glad she saved your life. Most of the time, anyway. The McFarland's <laughs> good people. She did blush better than a shepherd's sunset when she saw you, though. I have that effect on women. <laughs> she clearly had one too many blows to the head. You ain't wrong <laughs> about that, Mrs. Marston. <laughs> oh, nice. I like their conversation. That's quite a ranch they got there. That'll be us someday. Oh. We get back on our feet. I don't know, John. How many times can we start again? An outlaw and a working girl. We ain't exactly farmers. We are now. Forget that yeah. life. It's over. It's over. Do you really believe that? We have to. It's the only way we'll ever have a future. The life we led, that doesn't go away. Never over. You think those government men are just gonna leave us alone now? But Maybe. Dead. I did what they asked. And that's it? A lot of pride for killing? We're back together, ain't we? Until they decide you owe them something else. Sometimes yeah. I think I was the stupid one for believing I could get out. Maybe Dutch, Bill, and Javier were just being honest with themselves. You ain't perfect, John, and I sure ain't. But you're better than they are. Than yeah, they you are. Maybe we can't change. We gotta try, for Jack's sake. Even if we have to start again a hundred times. Yeah. We're going back to what we were. That's how a father thinks. Nice, John. I like it. How's Jack doing? Angry. Upset. He's been through a lot. I hope he's gonna be all right. It's gonna take time. For a while, his world was safe. Normal, even. Then it got turned upside down again. He ain't saying much about it. I've tried to talk to him. But how do you explain any of this? What do you say when he asks? about Uncle Phil and Uncle Dutch. They were his family when he was a little boy. He yeah. In those books of his. Wouldn't you? It ain't like the real world's done him many favors. He's just been kidnapped. He grew up with the gang. That's yeah. a lot for a boy. We did our best to protect him. Come on, John. He saw things no boy should see. Well, 
Now we got a chance to make it right. Yeah, Abigail. Don't make this harder, girl. Oh, 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 oh. this place is scary with scary animals. Come on, Abigail. Oh, here we are, home. Home, sweet home. <laughs> we did good today, John. Yes, you did. I guess I better go fix us something to eat. <laughs> oh, she talks like a little man. Oh, what was that? <laughs> Thank you. Let's go to Jackie. Jack? Oh my god. What is going to happen? Am I still gonna do this ranching thing? Come on. What? Jackie? Hey, Jack. Oh, he's so hey, sad. Boy. Need a hand with that? Um, no, sir. I got it. Huh. Looks like you have. Thanks. Well, you're real good with them tools. Thank you, Paul. You'll make this land real nice one day. Me and your mother will do our part. By the time your turn comes, hell, this could be the nicest farm in the county. Maybe, Paul. What? Just gotta learn to shoot straight or you'll get yourself eaten by some animal. Very funny, Paul. <laughs> Thank you, son. <laughs> Thank you, son. Soon it'll be quail season. We should have some fun then. Is there anything you don't like shooting, Paul? <laughs> yeah. Well, I ain't meant the thing yet, but as soon as I do, I'll let you know. <laughs> you can even put it in one of them books you read. Yeah, <laughs> maybe I'll do that. Today, John Marston stopped shooting. <laughs> Funny. I'm a literary man, but I don't think that'll sell. People like shooting in them things. I think you may be right there, Paul. <laughs> <sighs> hey, so, Jackie. Uh, you ever hear talk about them machines that can make a man fly? Well, sure, Paul. Everybody knows about that. You know, they're going to be oh. bringing one of those machines around the country next year for a demonstration. One of them machines can turn men into angels. Oh. One of them machines can turn men into angels. John, come here. John, what? Come here, quick. What is it? Take Give me some that. excitement, please. What Jack, is it? Go into the house, lock all the doors. Whatever happens, don't come outside. You hear me? What? Whatever happens. Excitement! Okay. Thanks, here, Scott. What? Whatever happens. Keep the doors locked and your mother inside. Promise me, son. Promise me. Yeah, oh, don't make me cry. Old friends. Me and Uncle take care of it. And you go old inside friends. And keep the doors and the windows locked. I hear you. Then run! Yeah, run, boy. Run, who the fuck he is? Well, old man, looks like things is about to get settled once and for all. Who the heck the is? For the love of God! Who what? Old man, I'm gonna need you who are these? Now. He called the soldiers? <gasps> oh my God! Are they the copies? Trying to kill John? Why? Oh my God! Why are they trying to kill them? Oh, John. John, what are they trying to kill you, Bon? Babe. Johnny, come on, hit him. Ah, this is shit. Ah, yeah, you said this is over, you dumbass. Why do you want to kill John now? Huh? Oh, get down. Oh, my God. Oh, Jesus. Oh. Chewing tobacco. Wait. Oh, medicine. Ah, piece of ugliness. You know what? I'm gonna select you and uh, you here, bitch. Ha! Shut up. <gasps> Get down, John. Oh no, John. Where is he? Oh, he's at the tree. Why are you here, you bitches? Why? What are they doing? Don't kill us, please. Why? What is this happening? Why? Guys, John did everything you asked for, you bitches. Bitches cops. Inside. 
I'll keep watch out here. Inside, go to the house. Oh my god. Who copies are trying to kill John? But why? Come on. Can't stay out here. I'm trying, hon. You see, uncle is doing a lot of things for you, John. What are we gonna do now? What's wrong? What's happened? Stay inside, you hear? Like I said, there'll be more coming. Please, Chucky. <gasps> no! Paul! Chuck! What do they want? I don't know, son. Whatever it is, <gasps> it ends here. Oh, look oh how many God. there are. They're gonna kill us, aren't they? No. I ain't gonna let that happen. Oh, how? Oh. Oh. Defend the house oh. from them. Yeah, oh, you dummies, die, you bitches. Oh, you... <gasps> no, no, Uncle! No! Oh! Uncle! Oh, I'm sorry, Han. Oh, I like Uncle so much. Yeah, you bitches. Piece of shit. Oh my god. <gasps> oh no, John! Defend your house from these bitches! Oh, come on, John. Here. Kill these dummies. Oh, shut up, you bitch! You bitch motherfucking god! Oh god, he's dead. Come on. Where are they? Where are you? Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh! Come on! Kill them, John! Kill them, John! Kill them, John! Get down, John. Oh my god! How can they all come here? How did they come here, all of them? Oh my god. First things first, you bitches! Why are you treating us like this? Stay away! He has done everything to protect his family, you bitch. People. You ugly, disgusting one. Oh, you bitch. Come on, John. Oh! Piece of shit. Oh. Go to Uncle. Uncle! Hang in there, Uncle. I'm gonna get you out of here safe! Yeah. time, John. I ain't gonna make it off this porch anyhow. Oh. Take Take them in. But you were with us all me. the time. Get him out of here. No! Oh, oh my god! god. <laughs> oh my god! They killed him! Come on, son! Ain't nothing we can do for him now! Oh my god. Oh no, no, don't go there! Oh my god, Leave I thought. The farm. I'll watch from the silo. You two go to the barn, get the horses ready. John! I'll meet you there! Listen to John! <laughs> oh, Uncle, I'm sorry. I liked him. Whatever with this game. No! Not again! Oh, oh shut no. up! Oh, up on the hill! God damn it. Up on the hill? Oh my god, I need this. Are you a piece of shit? I'm gonna destroy all of you. I'm gonna destroy you bitches. You piece of shit. You dummies. Come out. Bring your head out, you bitch. Bring your head out, you bitch, you dumbass. <gasps> oh, where are they, John? Don't oh, move she killed him. Got you covered. Wait. Make a run for the barn. Let's go. Yeah, no, fast. Now, quick, run for it. Fast, honeys. All right, you're covered. Fast. Go, go. Oh no, <laughs> they're not covered. Oh my God, you bitch. You. Oh my god! Oh my goodness! How many are they? Where's the other one? 
Oh, shut up, you bitch! You piece of uglies. Where are the others? Ah, you dumbass. Where is he? Oh. oh, no! Come on, John. Come on, hit them. Hit them. Do not allow them to go to, j to your son. Do not! Oh, my God! Do not! Get mass with my son, you bitch. Yeah. Drop it, you dummies. Oh, my God. Go! Ah! You bitches! You! Oh, my God! Ah, you partner. Okay. Join them. Fast. Honey! Okay. Let's go. Fast! Okay. Okay. Go to the barn. Fast. Oh my god. Come on. Come on. Fast. Listen. Jack. Gnarly. Get on this horse. <sighs> Get out of here. Go find a place to hide. You're coming with us, Paul. I'll catch up. Keep yeah. riding. Don't look back. And don't be worried <laughs> about me, you hear? Now get going. You stay out of trouble, John. <laughs> Ain't no trouble, is. Abigail. Ain't no trouble. I love you. I love you. What about Let the go. boy? He seems <laughs> Oh no, don't tell me he's going to die. <laughs> Come on. Don't make this to me. Come on, John, you have to kill them. Oh my god, there are gonna be so many. <laughs> oh my god, they're all here. How is he going to survive? <sighs> oh my god. John, John, don't go out there, hon. What are you gonna do, you dumbasses? Why are you messing with my John? Oh, oh no, don't tell me this! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Why? <laughs> John! Oh, you piece of shit! Why, oh, you piece of shit, it did everything you asked for! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god, I wasn't expecting for this at all! <laughs> You left him leave. Oh my god. That was disgusting. Did you hear that? Jack, we have to go back for Pa. Let's go. Go back. He's dead. Oh my god. I'm sorry, Jack. Oh my god, he was trying so hard! Arthur John died! Oh my god! John! No! Oh my god! Guys! Guys! <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
he was a killer, but he did not deserve this. Oh my god. Oh my god. He tried so hard. I don't bury me. Neath the western sky. Oh my god. Oh my god. My head is shaking. Why did they have to kill him? They could have just left him. You, you dumbass. Oh my god, I'm crying more than for my Arthur now. <laughs> what? What? Oh my god, is a Jack. Oh my god, is he going to revenge his dad? <laughs> oh my god, I'm being his dad too. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm sorry guys! John, but they, they didn't want to lie for you like this, huh? Oh my god! What the heck is going on? Yeah. Oh my god! Jack? Oh, what is going on, huh? <laughs> Where am I supposed to go now? They're both dead. <laughs> oh my God. Jack. Jack, hon, he didn't want this for you. He didn't want this life for you, hon. Why don't you listen to your daddy? <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god! Okay, stop crying, girl! I'm gonna get sick with this game! Let's go. I'm sorry! I'm sorry, John! You tried so much, yeah. honey! Arthur! My Arthur! Our Johnny died! They killed him! They lied to him! And everything they did left him live alive with his baby boy and his wife! Oh my god, now Jack is gonna take revenge on them? This is gonna be part three or what? <laughs> I don't want a part three that's gonna break my heart. Like these ones. Oh my god. <sighs> Worse than this, there is no way possible to do. Don't ask me how do you do, because I'm in such a bad condition right now. I cannot even breathe. <laughs> Come on, Jack. <laughs> I need to talk to this man. <laughs> Hello, sir. You work with the government? You one of them agents? <laughs> sure, sir. <clears throat> Why you ask? Did you I work with a man them. named Edgar Ross? I have something <laughs> for him. Edgar Ross? No, but well knew of him. Fine man, one of his oats. <laughs> Won himself a chest full of medals. I think he went and retired about a year ago. Last I heard, him and his wife moved out to a cabin on Lake Don Julio. Lucky guy, uh -huh. getting to take it easy. He's fighting crime in this dump, that's for sure. <clears throat> well, thank you for the information, mister. We're gonna go and kill them, Jack? Oh my god, go find Edgar Ross, wife near Lake Don Julio. Okay, let's go and find the piece of shit. Where's my baby Arthur? No, oh, that's not my baby Arthur. Yeah. Now this is gonna be my daddy John. Yeah, let's go, Jack. Oh my god, Jack. Jack, are you gonna take revenge of your dad, hon? I know you are. Whoa, 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 whoa. This is gonna be so hard for us. Oh my god, I'm sorry, guys. I'm crying too much, but it's impossible for me not to cry. Okay, there is... 
Arthur died. Everyone died. <laughs> there is a woman here. Let's come and talk to her. <sighs> I'm sorry, Jack. You're left alone here. Harold? Oh. Hello, ma'am. Hi. Condolences. Oh, my dear Harold. I can't believe he's gone. I knew his frequenting that gambling boat would be the death of him. <laughs> the death of him. Yeah, I killed him. John Harold killed him. Thornton, I miss you. Don't worry. I see. <laughs> I heard that dog trollop Clara laughing at the funeral. I can't understand how strangers can be so... She's not a stranger, dummy. The world is a sad and terrible place. God preserve his soul. Get away. He left her pregnant I'm and real went sorry away. Lost, Don't be sorry. Your daddy killed him. He deserved it. <laughs> Come on, Jack. Shut up, you woman. Now let's go to find that piece of shoot. Roz. You could have left them leave forever. He promised to Jack that he wasn't going anywhere and he died. Oh my god, that's so painful. I'm sorry, John. I am so sorry for you, hon. You don't have any idea how sorry I am. Oh and I feel so bad. So, so bad. <laughs> that you died. Even Arthur's wish didn't become true. Nothing at all. Nothing. Why didn't you leave this place? Go away like Sadie. Far, far away. But they wouldn't have found you, right, hon? Come on, fast! Oh my god, I cannot believe after all these parts of happiness with his child and everything and his wife. He, he died in that worst way. That was such a disgusting way. Let's go, Jack. I know you're gonna kill that dumbass, right, honey? We're gonna destroy that one. But I don't want you to do that. Because John didn't want you to do that. He wanted you to become someone in your life. At least one of them could have just lived. <sighs> oh my god, look at this beautiful view here. It's so beautiful. <sighs> Come on, stop crying. Fast John. Oh my god, John. Fast Jack. It's so hard to believe this. Oh, Ross. I'm gonna destroy you, dummy. I'm gonna destroy you, disgusting human. He did that just for pleasure. I swear to god, he did that just for pleasure. He didn't have to kill him. He didn't. He almost begged him not to kill him. Oh no. Come on, Jolly. Come on, girl. Don't make this road longer than it is. Ah, oh, here you are, bitch. Here you are, disgusting one. Here you are, you disgusting man. Slow down. Good. Yeah, come on. Come here. Hi. Hi. Excuse me, ma'am. Yeah, who Hello, are young you? man. Hi. What are you doing out here? Are you out visiting the lake with your family? Uh, no, ma'am. No. I was looking to deliver a letter to Edgar Ross. Oh, yeah. That husband of mine. Oh. That bureau just won't get its talons out of him, even though he's retired. Ed 
Ça y est, est Ah, oh, really? Oh, really, you Sorry. think so? Shouldn't get so angry. I don't suppose any of this is your fault. There's no need to worry about him nowadays. Where is he? Where is he? He and his brother Philip went hunting on the south side of the San Luis River. Be careful crossing over. They were saying it was dangerous. I sure will, ma'am. <sighs> Don't worry about a thing. I'm sure your husband will be just fine. Yeah. I'm gonna destroy him. <sighs> You the Toro. Let's go. Let's go to you the Toro. No woman. No yeah. woman. Let's go, hon. Where is you the Toro? Wait for me, you disgusting man. Wait, because I'm coming. Oh, I'm gonna destroy you. I swear to God, I am. Come on, John. Jack, I'm sorry. Oh, whoa, oh, oh. whoa. Oh, here. Here it is. Here is someone. Here they are. Here, who is here? Hi. Who are you, man? Hey there, mister. How's the hunting? Oh, yeah. Pretty good, son. Got me a few rabbits. Coyote, elk. Still looking for I some cookies for the parlor. I've got a letter here for Edgar Ross. You know him? I heard he was down in these parts with his wife. Of course I know him. He's my brother. Gone down river. Duck hunt. Must be a pretty important letter to have come all this way. Oh, yes, sir. Oh, yes, Real it important. is. I'll be on my way home as soon as I deliver this message. You best be off then. Just don't get on his bad side. He's got a filthy temper. Uh-huh. I'm just gonna destroy him. Okay. Those. Oh, oh, piece of shit. Shut up, you dummies. I'm not in the mood for you. Come on. Where is he? Map? Down here, right? Let's go to him. Hey, little Jack. We're gonna go there now. Where is he? Where are you, Ross? Where are you, piece of shoot? Where are you? Oh, do you remember, John? Yeah. Hey, Jack and Abigail, you piece of ugly. Do you? Huh? Where is he? Here he is. Excuse me. Yeah. Are you Edgar Ross? Yes, he is. Do you know you? Yes. Hear me for startling you, sir. I have a message for you. Come my on, Jack. My name is Jack Marston. You knew a my piece father. Piece of shoot. <laughs> I see. I remember your father. I've come for you, Ross. Yeah, you <laughs> dumbass, you're gonna die, you disgusting you human boy being. <laughs> have sure shit found me. You killed yeah. my father. You did. Your father killed himself with the life he lived. You killed him. You could have forgave him, you you're dumbass. Saying. You sent him to do your dirty work. Then you shot him like a dog. And I'll shoot you like one too, you little piece of trash. <gasps> He's now not get trash! Out of here I kill you as well! I'm gonna kill you, dumbass. I ain't going nowhere, old man. Yeah, nowhere, you piece of shoot. 
Come on. Come on, Jack. It's Garros. You're gonna die, you disgusting man. Come on. Come on, baby. Come on. Kill him. Oh. Oh my god. Oh. Come on. Ah! Dad, you piece of shoot. That's revenge for my John. And now to throw all of them together. Good job, Jack. I'm sorry for making your hands with blood. <sighs> oh, honey. <laughs> I'm so shocked. I really am. I'm so shocked. I wasn't expecting for that to happen at all. <sighs> I was at least expecting for that dumbass to leave him be and have a life or not kill him that way. That was disgusting. <laughs> and I felt so bad for that. I don't want to play a part three where Jack is a killer or Jack gets his daddy's life. I don't want that. That is gonna be more sad, and this is going to continue and continue and continue. It is always going to hurt me. I love Red Dead Redemption so much. The story is so captivating, it makes you touch to every one of them. This was the most beautiful journey and the most beautiful series of a gameplay that I've ever done until now. This is awesome. Thank you guys, thank you so much for watching me and, en and enjoying this with me all the time until the end. I really appreciate it and oh, I'm so sad because no one's wish became true. John's wish didn't, Arthur's wish didn't. It's so sad. It was an unhappy ending God. <laughs> He wanted him to become something better, to have a better life. It's so heartbroken. <laughs> it's unbelievable. How can a game make you cry so much and make you really feel pain in your chest for what happened? And I really cannot forget John's face when he died. <sighs> I loved every second of it. Yeah, I loved Red Dead Redemption with John. I really liked it. It was growing in me every second day. It was funny. It was full of action. It's amazing. Thank you so much, buddies, for watching and for supporting me all this time. I really appreciate it. And... You know that I'm so lucky to have you and I really want you to be with me in every journey that I take so this can be more easy for me knowing that I have you there and I'm not crying here alone and you understand me and you know how this feels like. Thank you so much. I love you. Bye. Kisses.